This is the Ghetto Free Press and I'm George Boston Rhymes with a question. Not too many days ago, I understand that this sign was posted downtown Gordon, Georgia. Yet, a few days later, this sign was removed. Was it removed because a local citizen asked the question. Why ask the mayor about the money when all the mayor has done was ask along with the city council members what about the audit? What about the money? It seems as if though there are those in this city who would like to answer the questions about the money. And so when somebody else threw a bone in the fire and said, ask the clerk the clerk. Ask Attorney Boone. Ask the mayor pro tem, Edith. Ask them, where is the money? That was the question then, and that was the question, I understand, three weeks after Mayor Lou took office. And we can pretend, ignore, deceive ourselves, and convince ourselves that this problem is just confined to Gordon, Georgia. But there's a bigger picture being painted. There's a deeper well being dug. And the eyes of the world are looking at Georgia. If you turn to Meg's Georgia, you will find similar situations. Normally, a mayor pro tem supports the city charter, the mayor, their fellow council members, and they work for the good of the city. For they know that to criticize the mayor and to bring a lawsuit against the mayor, that lawsuit also is made against the city council and the taxpaying citizens of any community. Moreover, this didn't just begin to happen. There are mayors right here close to Gordon that have talked to me about the problems they had. And even in Albany, I have heard, but I didn't talk to her, that they had similar problems. But thank God they worked their way through those problems, as I believe under our form of government will be done here in Gordon, Georgia. This is the Ghetto Free Press. I intend to keep you informed, and above all, people simply wants to know where is the money. And I listen to TV. I read the paper, and the questions are always directed to the mayor of Gordon. The mayor is not alone. The voters voted other people to the council, and they must become vocal, give their opinions, help account for the money. 
and the Georgia Attorney General Sam Owens should assist in all of these cities where these problems exist. This is a more than serious matter. Let me repeat, this is more than a serious matter because some, one mayor in particular, has already been attacked. And we can only blame the elected officials in the state of Georgia. If anything should happen to any of these Georgia and American citizens in the United States of America, the governor, the attorney general, the secretary of state, and others have been notified. And yet, it seems as if though it's like a tree falling in the forest. Let me repeat, these problems to our elected officials in Georgia make it seem as if though a tree fell in the forest. And then they tell us that the forest does not exist. Yet we see the disarray in these cities in Georgia and nothing happens. We intend to continue to be sensible, to provide the facts, but we will not go down the road of bickering and fighting like we have seen in the 40s, the 50s, and the 60s. There's no need of that. Let's just focus on the truth. Because in the end, according to St. John 8.32, and ye shall know the truth, and the truth shall set you free. And so open the books. Support the citizens of all cities and those who are elected to public office should work as a team, as a team, as a team member. And if any city attorney or any other attorney does not provide good counsel and good directions to avoid lawsuits, then I personally question, I really question why they are in the seat that they are in. Bye-bye. We go.